Hey yo peeps, my name is Pablo Picanto. Welcome back to Fallout 4. We are back at Cambridge Police Station. Uh, yeah, to follow up our quest and get a little more involved with the Brotherhood of Steel. Glad to see you alive and well, sir. Are we in luck, sir? Mission accomplished. We have the transmitter. Finally, some good news for a change. Nice work, sir. I didn't do it alone. Aelin, Reese. It's time to welcome our newest recruit to the recon team. He shows a lot of promise. And with the proper guidance, I think he has the potential of becoming one of the best. Yeah, that's right. One of the best. Hmm. Anyone want to say something? Thanks. I promise not to let you down. You okay. don't have to prove anything else to me. Getting that transmitter was enough. So you decided to stay, huh? I expected you to take your payment and run. Let's just hug this out and get it over with. What do you say? You can play it however you want, tough guy. It's gonna take a lot more than completing one mission to impress me. Reese, that's enough. Like it or not, you're going to have to learn to work together. And you, you need to understand what it means to be a part of the Brotherhood. We're not soldiers of fortune. We're an army, and we've dedicated our lives to uphold a strict code of ethics. If you intend to stay within our ranks, you need to obey our tenets without question. Are you going to teach me Tell this me code more. of ethics? If you are paying attention in ArcJet, you should have learned some of it already. The rest will become apparent as you spend time with your fellow soldiers. Never burn a brother's now, ass? I know you're eager to get started. I'll get right to the point. I only ask for two things from anyone under my command. Honesty and respect. You fall in line, you stay in line. I give you an order, and you follow it. It's as simple as that. Now, before I Got release it. you to Halen and Reese for your assignments, there's one last order of business. From this moment forward, I'm granting you the rank of Initiate. This is only a training rank. Wow. I'm not permitted to grant ranks any higher than that. Why can't you promote me beyond Initiate? Only an Elder can promote you beyond Initiate. After we get the transmitter <laughs> up and running, I'll call in and see what I can do. Okay. Thank you. Thanks are necessary. Just continue excelling at your duties, soldier. Ad Victorium, Initiate. He doesn't even know what that means, Halen. Ad Victorium means to victory. In our eyes. Yeah, I, I got that kind of... Because we're fighting I had Latin in school. Mankind. It was awful. Our rallying cry is more powerful than any weapon you could ever carry. Remember that. Now, I need you to report to Halen or Reese for your next assignment. Dismissed, soldier. Semper Invicta. All right, all right, all right. Good. Sign to him or her. Him or her. I kind of want to show him that I am fucking better than him. But what the hell's going on? She's nicer. Than Reinforcements that. are hey, coming. They sure are taking their sweet time. And okay, you know what? Right. Hey, Paladin Dan says they're Whoa. coming. What's your game? They're coming. We just need to hold out a while longer. Okay. Fend it again. I hope I haven't offended you again. Offended? Tss. Hardly. I'm just trying to figure you out. You're not the military type. You're a loner. So I can't figure out why you're sticking around. You got what you wanted, so why don't you hit the road? Hmm. Paladin said honesty. But I don't know if I can be that honest. <clears throat> hey, I'm talking to you. What can I say that will make you trust me? There's nothing you can say. Trust is earned through action. Nothing more, nothing less. <sighs> Look, I'm gonna cut you some slack because Dance trusts you. But if you step out of line and put any of my brothers or sisters in danger, I'll make sure you regret it. So, ready for your assignment, hero? Okay. Ready. Then listen up. Like it or not, one of our most important duties is to keep the Commonwealth clear of the trash. I'm talking about mutants, ghouls, synths. Ugh. The abominations the damn eggheads caused when they started playing with their toys. 
This op is simple. I'm gonna send you to a target, and you're gonna terminate everything that calls it home. All the details you need are right here. Don't come back until the job's done. All right, got it. Got another quest to do. They have a heavy port. Is that a little... Uh, that's a little small. Can have no big Healy here. Okay, whatever. Let's... You know what? Let's fall down and break our legs. No, okay. Let's find. Let's head to Diamond City a little more. Okay. That's what we're gonna do. I wanna know what happened to Sean. And where Mr. Mysterious Figure is. And who he is. I wonder if I should go in there. Ah, <clears throat> so much, so much shit to discover. That's just awful, and awesome at the same time. Oh my god! Oh yeah, wait a minute. I I got a weapon. That one, was it? Okay, let's try that one out. Do I have ammo? Okay, quite some. Duct tape, woo. Okay, there is really nothing much in here, is there? Up here... No Nuka-Cola for me, hey, hey, hey! Who are you? Okay. Ah! Oh, fuck you! Huh? No, okay. Be really soft, let's start here, no... Yeah, no. Nah, fuck. Okay. A little more to here then. No. Even more. Come on, man. What's it? Where? Here? Nope. Okay, more to. Here? Yeah. Come on, that, that is a fucking new block. Alright, finally. Yes. Get out, rat. Um Can we just talk? Please. Oh fuck. Oh fuck. Oh shit. Okay, I guess not. Doggy, you okay? Oh shit. Take it to the face. Oh. Explosives, really? No, 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 no. no. Bam, 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 bam. Oh shit, there are more. There's so many. Fuck, fuck, fuck. Uh, no! I panicked. So, I don't quite know. Should I deal with them? Do I have to unlock you again? Oh, fuck. Okay. Yes. 
easy. Hey there. Nuka Cola Quantum. All right. Oh, sh oh, okay. You scared me, doggy. So they're not very friendly. Not yours, thief. Down you go. Oh, fuck no. Oh shit, wait. Wait a second. Just wait a second, a small second. I'm just gonna go and uh, drink a little cola. And oh. Oh! Oh, 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 oh fuck. Uh, uh, yes, please. No more. Oh, shit. No fucking shit. Uh, uh, take this. How do I? How do I? Okay. How did it? How? Oh, there was a door. Oh, ma. Oh, ma. Ma. Got it indeed. So, I'm gonna grab you. Wait, and actually, I fuck. I'm gonna save real quick. I'm gonna go in here. Grab me some stim pack. I don't like this place. In the camera. Can I like shoot something and uh, let it fall on his head? That would be cool. Oh, oh fuck. Oh shit. Oh no. Oh great. Someone there. Okay. Are they. This one. Don't shoot Dougie. Gonna splatter your brain. Can you stop? Someone at the door. The fuck? Back to business. So, no. No, I think we are going to leave this place, Super Mutant. No, please. No, 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 I'm leaving. Thanks, but no thanks. Oh, shit. Doggy! Oh my god. I'm just gonna run. And Dougie will fight me. I'm sure of that. I don't think these are enemies that I can handle right now. Dougie?
Did I lose him? Can Doggy die? I hope not. Oh, fuck. Well, whatever. There you are. He's fine. Everything's good. Good. To Diamond City, then. He's shooting again. There are always people fighting. So. What's the problem this time? Who are you? Diamond City Security. Okay. I want to help these. Super Mule. God, these ass. Oh, shit. Shoot that. God. Get fucking wrecked. Right. Oh shit. Ooh, kill shot. Down you go. Huh? Nope. You're our kind of guy. All right. That wasn't too bad. Already made some new friends. So you got one of those fancy volt suits. Those one size fits all. Mm -hmm. Excuse me. Barrel ghouls like the <clears throat> See, people are jelly about it. Night patrol a real fright vest. Okay. Uh, science. Okay, diamond. Diamond city. Right ahead. Friendly oil, yeah, okay. Diamond hey, City is the place to live, I tell you. You made the right choice coming here. I hope so. <laughs> Flying music box. Cool. I bought. Okay. So, is this, this way? Yeah, yeah. I'm about to do it. In here? Commonwealth's a dangerous place. Lucky you're near the Great Green Jewel. The Great Green Jewel. What do you mean you can't open the gate? Stop playing around, Danny. I'm standing out in the open here for crying out loud. I got orders not to let you in, Miss Piper. I'm sorry. I'm just doing my job. Ooh, just doing your job, protecting Diamond City that's <coughs> keeping me out, is that it? <laughs> oh, look, it's the scary reporter. <gasps> I'm sorry, but Mayor McDonough's really steamed, Piper. Saying that article you wrote was all lies. The whole city's in a tizzy. <sighs> you open this gate right now, Danny Sullivan. I live here, you can't just lock me out. Yeah, that's not cool. I can wait all day, Danny. Open up. Okay, you wanna let me in? Hmm? Okay, what seems to be le problème? She's busy. You, you want into Diamond City, right? I just got here, but yeah. Shh. Play along. What? What's that? You said you're a trader up from Quincy? You have enough supplies to keep the general store stocked for a whole month? <laughs> you hear that, Danny? You gonna open the gate and let us in, or are you gonna be the one talking to crazy Myrna about losing out on all the supply? Jeez, all right. I need to make it personal, Piper. Give me a minute. Better head inside quick before old Danny catches on to the bluff. Yeah. Better do. Or else I'm the fucked one. Thank you very much. Sounds good. Let's go. 
great day in Diamond City. Piper, who let you back inside? I told Sullivan to keep that gate shut. You devious, rabble-rousing slanderer. The level of dishonesty in that paper of yours. I'll have that printer scrapped for parts. Ooh, that a statement, Mr. McDonough? Tyrant mayor shuts down the press. Why don't we ask the newcomer? You support the news? Because the mayor's threatened to throw free speech in the dumpster. Uh... Yeah, um, news are important, if they are really Always free. Always believed in freedom of the press. Oh, I didn't mean to bring you into this argument, good <laughs> sir. No, no, no. You look like Diamond City material. Welcome to the great green jewel of the Commonwealth. Safe, happy, a fine place to come. Spend your money, settle down. Don't let this muckraker here tell you otherwise, all right? All right. <clears throat> I'm sure your city's a great place. <laughs> yeah, greatest house of cards in the Commonwealth. Until the wind blows. <clears throat> now, was there anything particular you came to our city for? Hmm. I don't know if I can trust him. Not really your business. Well, whatever you do, don't bother going to Diamond City Security for help. I've had enough of this, Piper. From now on, consider you and that little sister of yours on notice. Yeah, keep talking, McDonough. That's all you're good for. Right. Mmm, a big Diamond City welcome from the mayor. Do you feel honored yet? Kind of. Look, I gotta go get settled in, but, um, stop by my office later. I have an idea for an article you'd be perfect for. Okay, all right. Yep, gonna do that. But for now, let's so, just hey. You're that traitor Piper was talking about. Um, bye. Okay. Let's look at Diamond City. Ooh. I like it. Quite nice. Paper clips on quite a ship. Who? Diamond City Market. All right. Anyone is one of Really looks like the place to be. Oh my god, this is gonna take some time. Okay. Hey buddy, what do you got? Takahashi. It's all he understands. No thanks. Hey, Takahashi. Yes? <laughs> okay. Yeah, you know, I'm gonna have... That's expensive. I'm gonna have one. I don't want to be rude. Oh, wait. Thanks, Takahashi. Coca-Cola, Coca-Cola Quantum. So, we got weapons over here, we got medics over there. It's cool, right? Uh, stuff is just lying around. Can I buy it from somebody? Is is just? Do we not have business hours right now? I hear there's 
a bar in the old theater district that's for raiders only. The combat zone. I'd stay clear if I was you. Combat zone, okay. It's not stealing if I take it from the tra trash can. Come on. Oh, okay. Are you her sister? If the institute grabs you in the night, at least we warned you. <laughs> the institute? Institute? You ain't heard of the institute, Mister? They snatch people up in the night, and no one hears from them again. It's all in the paper. Better read up before they grab you too. Who's gone missing? Drifters, residents, stadium seat snobs. Seems every year or so. Someone's gone, and we all know why. So you better be careful, newcomer. The Institute is out there, and they'll grab you too. Like I said, it's all news. <clears throat> I believe you. Thanks. You're a real lost lamb in the wolf's den, mister. So what are you doing in Diamond City anyway? Huh. I came here looking for someone. Let me guess. That someone's gone missing, right? That's what I'm telling you. So who is it? I'm looking for Sean. He's my son. Less than a year old. You have a son, mister? Man, you're old. You're in bad luck. No one tries to find missing people in Diamond City. Missing people means the Institute is involved. And no one's going to want to get the Institute's attention. You're a smart kid. Isn't there someone in town who isn't afraid of this Institute? Well, there is the detective, Mr. Nick Valentine. He's not afraid of anything. If anyone's going to help you, it's him. Nick Valentine, okay. What else do you know about Mr. Valentine? I know all the adults who go there won't admit it. Ain't that the way it is? No one's ever grateful for the people who help out the most. Thanks. You were a big help. Remember, the Institute's out there, newcomer. Watch your back. I will. Thanks. So, is this... Oh, that's the office, right? So then, let's check in on her as well. Glad you dropped by. Blue. Blue. Not blue? blue. Why are you calling me that? Because of the blue jumpsuit you're wearing. You're a vault dweller. So here's the deal. I want an interview. Your life story in print. I think it's time Diamond City had a little outside perspective on the Commonwealth. You do that, and uh, I'll tell you what. I'll come with you. Watch your back while you get used to the world above ground. What kind of interview is this going to be? I ask you who you are, get your opinion on life out there, and maybe load up a few tough questions and keep it interesting. What do you say? Well, you know, I should probably keep my head down a little bit. But I actually want to try it out, so... I'm in. Good. Let's get down to business. So, I know you're from a vault. How would you describe your time on the inside? <laughs> My family and I were frozen. I didn't spend much time in the vault. W wait. <laughs> they boxed you up in a fridge? The whole time? Are you saying you were alive before the war? Exactly. Yes. I'm over 200 years old. Oh my god. The man out of time. So, you've seen the Commonwealth, Diamond City. How does it compare to your old life? Hmm. To my old life? You're all living in rusty shacks, killing each other. Oh my god, the smell. Okay. Well, it's gonna be a fun one to quote. Now, the uh, big question. Why come to Diamond City? You're looking for someone, aren't you? Who is it? Okay. Don't know if I should state that one. 
Why do you care? This is news. No one else in Diamond City may care about the missing, but my paper does. I lost family, okay? I'm trying to get one of them back. What's their name, Blue? Who are they? <sighs> okay, it kind of won't matter anyway because Sean was so small, he doesn't know he was called Sean. Speak up, I couldn't hear you. Sorry. Okay, My take son, it. Sean was kidnapped. He's not even a year old. The parent after the missing child. As heartbreaking today as it ever was. Tell me. Do you suspect the institutes involved? I don't know. No one ever does. That's what makes them so scary. For the last part of our interview, I'd like to do something different. I want you to make a statement to Diamond City directly. The threat of kidnapping is all but ignored in the Commonwealth. Everyone wants to pretend it just doesn't happen. What would you say to someone out there who's lost a loved one but might be too scared or too numb to the world to look for them? Hmm. <clears throat> no matter how much you want to give up, don't. You have to have hope that you'll see them again. Or at least that you'll know the truth. A strong note to end on, Blue. Thanks. That's everything. It's going to take some time to put this all together, but I think your story is going to give Diamond City plenty to talk about. Anyway, I agreed to come with you, right? Watch your back. Just say the word when you're ready. I can't wait to see where this story goes next. Okay, level up. God. I don't know if something bad is going to happen after this interview. Kind of like felt like... Yeah. I might as well try it out. I, I, don't, I can't imagine that this is... Going to fuck up. So hard that I can't find Sean anymore. And yeah. As I said, Sean doesn't even know that he's Sean. Kind of. And we don't even know how, how old or how big he is right now. Because uh, they've taken him from from his mother. And uh, yeah, then we fell asleep again. And don't move, Sam. after what some time, what is you going on? Riley? Where's my brother? I swear I'm not a simp. Don't shoot, for God's sakes, we're family. Put the gun down now. He's a Sith. Okay. Kill us all. Let me hear this. Kyle, no. Okay, show's over. There are no synths in Diamond City. Hear me? Just you folks in your damn paranoia. Dude. I need oh my God. To step away, Scabber. I understand, officer. I just want to know what happened. You got bricks for ears? Damn it. I said get the hell out of here now. Hey. He pulled the gun on me. My own brother. What happened? I'm, I'm not a synth. I, I told him. I, I kept telling him. Why didn't he listen to me? I, uh... I need a minute. Everyone's still standing around for. Go back to your own damn business. Nothing to see here. Okay. Guess this place isn't so nice after all, huh? Uh, may I? Just may I? Can I? I mean, it's not like he will need it anymore, right? Oh, a carrot. I need that one. I can plant that at home. Whoa, yeah. Thanks. 
Uh, have a nice day. Hang in there, buddy. Okay. It's the new guy. That's you, right? Yeah. The new guy? Word kind of travels fast in Diamond City. What can I say? Name's Arturo Rodriguez. If you need protection, let's talk. All right, Arturo. Let's see what you have. Show me what you got. Everyone. Mini nuke? What? What is wrong? With people. Holy shit. There's enough enough radiation out there. Oh, Chinese officer sword. Oh. See? Looks awesome. Yeah. yeah. Alright. You then. <laughs> You need a genuine, authentic, custom-made hickory swatter. What's a swatter? <laughs> Rookie, eh? A swatter, my friend, is a Diamond City tradition. See, it used to be that this whole place was a stadium. And two teams would meet and play a game called baseball. One team what? Would to death with these things called baseball bats. And, <laughs> and the best bats were called swatters. True fact. True fact, yeah. Uh, <laughs> that's not baseball, but it would be more fun if it was like that. Yeah. Sounds like fun. You bet your socks it was. Now, how about you pick up a little memento in the form of a genuine swatter? I'll take a look. Sure. Sh show genuine me. Articles. Baseball grenade? Holy shit. 122, 1... Oh my god. Huh. Ooh. He really got some sweaters. But they have slow speed, so now I'm gonna stick with what I have. Gonna stick with my friend Basie. Need a new Coca Cola. Sheffield. So thirsty. Nuka Cola. How do I know what his name is? Here you go. Take one. <gasps> ah, thank you. Thank you. All right. So, we finally arrived at Diamond City. This seems to be a very fun place. Jesus. People are just having a good time here. It is great. Yeah, so far, we're gonna leave it for this episode. If you enjoyed watching, please subscribe and stick around for more. And I will see you in the next episode. Thank you for watching. Peace out. Almost there. We're gonna be okay. I love you. Both of you. We love you too.